Hey everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm glad you're here for this video. This is going to be something that I'm pretty excited about. I did this whole makeup look for um, just under $25. I also used only six products to do the full face of makeup. The idea all started because I just wanted to do a video showing you this e.l.f. acne fighting foundation in action, but I thought how can I give them more to see? And so I kind of challenged myself to do a full look under a certain price and it started with $30 and then I thought maybe I can do better than that so I got it down to $25. I did not factor my brushes into this. There was no way I would have gone under $25 with all the brushes I used but maybe in the future I'll do another challenge where I'll keep the brushes in there. But the way I started out I already had my moisturizer on and then I used this e.l.f. acne fighting foundation in buff which I just love the texture of this stuff. It's thicker than I would have expected. It's very soothing, creamy, um, um, almost feels kind of nourishing and soothing on the skin, so I like that. And I spread it out everywhere, and I blended that in with my Real Techniques buffing brush. It's very easy to blend in with your fingers as well if you wanted to do it that way, but once I got all of that blended in all over the face, I pulled in a concealer, and the concealer I used is the NYC Cover Stick in Light. Probably not my favorite concealer of all time, but um, a little strategy I used for blending it out I think really makes it work. But I used on the under eye, down the nose, really anywhere I wanted to highlight since this is a bit lighter than my actual skin tone. But first step for blending, I did use a brush. I pulled in one of my Up and Up concealer brushes. It's kind of a full concealer type brush and I just worked to blend in as much as I could in um, kind of hard to get to areas and then I also went down the nose, the other parts of the face where I applied the product. But then I really wanted to get this looking very natural on the under eye area. So when I was finished with the brush, I just went in with my fingers and really used the heat of my finger to help the remaining product just melt into my skin. And it really did give me a nice finished effect. It might not be as heavy duty of a job as, you know, using a peachy tone corrector and then layering something else with it might do, but this worked for me for today. Now I'm left wanting to set those areas and I pulled out something that in the past I never really liked. It's the Cool Tone Bronzer from e.l.f. I think I used to look at this in a very one-sided way and I I thought, how is that going to work as a bronzer? But it really can work as a bronzer, um, and you can also split it up and use it other ways. So I just used that lightest powder, and I dusted that on the under eye area to sort of set that concealer. And then I found that if I kind of use a lot of that lighter shade paired with a little bit of the brown underneath it, I can sort of create a skin tone powder. And I really do like to set this acne fighting foundation all over. So I did that with my e.l.f complexion brush and I just used that all over and it really worked to even out the texture of my skin. Everything really felt set that way. And then of course I'm going to go on and use that brownish tone powder as a contour and it works great for that. I used my Up and Up blush brush just to take that in the cheekbones. You can take it around the hairline as well wherever you really like to go with your contour. And then I sort of isolated that pinky deep rose color as well and used that as my blush. And I actually think that is a beautiful blush. I was very very happy with the way that came off. So again, this product that I really didn't love at first is emerging as kind of the MVP of the look because for my brows, I went to the deepest shade in here and I just used an angled brush and quickly filled in, evened out my brows left to right. And then before getting into the eyeshadow, I primed my lids with a little bit of the concealer and this can really work fine. In a pinch, if you don't have an eye primer and you do have some kind of creamy concealer, just keep it very, very minimal and really press it into the skin. And I went back to my e.l.f. Cool Brow bronzer and I went to the lighter of the two browns and I just used that for a natural crease color because the palette that I pulled for this look does not have any mattes. I would say any fluffy crease brush is going to work for that step and then I pulled out my Old Faithful Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. Everybody needs this palette. It's so great. I used my top two greens in there. I just patted that on with a flat shadow brush and then for a little depth I took the definer shade, the really dark brown, and I patted that just on the outer part of the lid. I worked that up into the crease as well and there's so much punch in this shade, so much pigment, that um, I found I could go back in with a blending brush and sort of pull that shade up through the crease even more. And then I took that sort of medium brown shade in this palette and I just used a smudger brush and applied that on the outer part of my lower lash line. And then I used the brow bone shade, the really buttery one, just right up under my brow for a highlight there. I also used that buttery shade as a highlight on my cheekbones. It actually works really nicely that way. And if you're dead 
dead set on using eyeliner and you want to stay in this looks price range, dampen a brush and go into this darkest shade right down here. And you could just apply that across the upper lash line and get a lined effect. Sometimes when I skip the liner, my lashes can look bigger. So I curled my lashes and I went in with my Super Sizer Mascara from CoverGirl. It really just makes a huge difference for my lashes. So I apply that. I feel like I get really good length. I get a curl that holds. And then my final step was lips. And I had this $1.99 LA Girl Endless Semi-Permanent Auto Lip Liner in Wine. And I was wanting to go a little bit deeper on the lips. And so I thought this would be the perfect shade. So this is really nice and long wearing. I wouldn't go as far as to say that it's semi-permanent, but it was really the color I was after and it was the right price for this look. So this is my finished look. I was really pleased with the way it turned out for right around $25. I had several products in here that I absolutely loved. I would say my non-negotiables as I was planning out this look. I wanted to show this foundation for sure, so obviously I was gonna use that. I really wanted to use my Super Sizer Mascara because it's just my favorite. And also it's really hard to beat Wet n Wild as far as bang for your buck for pigmented great quality eyeshadows and I knew this could double with the highlight. I would say the thing that surprised me most for how far it could go was this cool bronzer from e.l.f. Um, using these shades separately, it was almost like giving me a second eyeshadow palette. It was giving me multiple things that I could use on my face powder wise. So that's a very handy multitasker to have in your collection. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.